Well, good afternoon everyone and welcome to a Tenerife travel day. We've got mum and dad coming with us as well this time. Hi. <laughs> they wish. Hi. They wish. I wish. I'm just the chauffeur. So mum and dad are dropping me and Laura off at Manchester Airport. We're flying with Ryanair today from Terminal 3. So we'll let you know how that goes. It was a bit of a disaster. We landed at Manchester yesterday from Florida and it was a bit of a disaster show, Manchester Airport. So we'll see how it goes. We've got fast track security as well. So you'll get to see whether that is worth it or not. Uh, we paid and booked that through Ryanair, so we'll see. Uh, but for now, we'll catch you once we get to the airport, show you the whole process, how busy security is, etc., and the whole journey all the way back home for us uh, in Tenerife, that's where we live. And yeah, we will see. So if you are new to the channel, I am Andrew and this is Laura. We do live in Tenerife. We've just been away to Florida. There's a full series on that. And this is our little travel day back home for us, but it would be on holiday for a lot of you guys. Uh, back to Tenerife South with Ryanair. Queues look big for checking, but we've got no bags to drop off. We're just gonna go straight to security, hopefully. Uh, but I've not travelled through Terminal 3 for a little while, so... Okay, so all through security, it took about 15 minutes just because uh, we did get stopped there to swab the candles that we bought. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, it was pretty pain-free. Fast nice. track was only, there's only, I think, four people in front of us in the fast track line. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Line wasn't bad either. No, not too bad at all. However, coming through, you can see this side is just mental. Uh, this is the line for the kitchen place all the way down there. And there's just nowhere to sit. It is full to the rafters in here. So I would probably recommend booking that lounge up there if you could. Yeah, down here, a little bit chaotic. Gonna go and try and get a Costa now, but very chaotic down here. So as we wait in the queue for Costa, I'm gonna ask everyone now, since it is travel day, what is your go-to thing to do in the airport on travel day? Do you go for a beer? Do you go for a coffee? Do you get yourself in WH Smith, get yourself some treats? I always go to Google that one's tiny and have a look what nice stuff they've got in there, like yeah. greens or everything like special in there for me. Always try and have a little mooch around. The shops aren't too bad, it's the main cafeterias, they're a little bit busier. But yeah, we're gonna queue up for a Costa, yeah. do a little coffee. And we've got about two hours till our flight. Yeah, yeah came a little bit early. Just going to do a know. bit of plane spotting. Mm -hmm. I'll make you happy. So, just waited in the big line for the Costa. Got myself a nice caramel shortbread. I've got to say, though, that's one of the worst coffees I've had in, like, three weeks. I wanted to try a Cafe Nero, but there wasn't one through security. Uh, sorry, Costa fans, but uh, it's a no from me. <laughs> but I'm sure I'll enjoy the caramel shortbread. So if you're looking for some decent sun cream, I do highly recommend this Boot Sultan. I think it's really, really good. And it is five star UVA rated, this stuff. Um, I really like it personally, and it isn't mega expensive. So I do recommend that sun cream if you're looking for some. In terms of food, I would say it's quite depleted. Um, Costa had nothing left. And there's only, well, there's, there's bits left here, but nothing majorly, only sandwiches. So food wise, definitely nothing left in Costa some sandwiches left here but it's a bit of a mess as you can see uh, it's all a bit all over the show so i do normally go for the sparkling ice black raspberry but i'm gonna mix it up today i'm gonna go, go for a ribena sparkling i think or a ribena light Ooh, mix it up i think go for a little ribena not have one of these for years laura's just got bottles of water going we've got yourself a bit of uh batiste there very nice dry shampoo So I'm just watching uh, everyone boarding their Ryanair flights. It is very busy down here. While I've got a chance, I'm gonna give a mention to Brevity and a big thank you to them for sponsoring the video and gifting us this amazing travel rucksack. We've used it for our whole trip to Florida, uh, Bahamas. It's been everywhere. It was great for the cruise, great for the traveling. It's got all of my camera gear inside it, drones, absolutely everything in here, electrical. It's all nice and padded, extra zips inside, uh, lifetime guarantee as well, but it is weatherproof. It still looks brand new after all that trip, uh, going to the beach, everything. It's all still 
basically brand new looking um, and it has taken quite a bit of a beating for uh, from this trip for the last few weeks so big big thank you to them there is a night strider discount as well which is in the description if you are interested in it uh, i absolutely love it i love the way it slots onto the handle as well it's been so much easier traveling around with it especially as we didn't take a suitcase uh, this time we only took hand luggage it's been an absolute blessing in disguise uh, especially the way i can just walk around with it on the uh attached to the 10 kilo suitcase so big thanks to them uh, the link is in the description for that uh, and you can uh, go ahead and check them out i've even put my little bird pin on there uh, it's still surviving the other one went unfortunately i um i lost it but this one's still on there so here's another little top tip for you and um, the airport staff normally are very helpful you see the ladies there i've just popped over and very kindly asked them which gate by any chance is going to be the tenerife flight and they've told me it's going to be 56, which is right at the end, so we can go and get our seats right at the front and, we, uh, and relax, yeah. So don't be afraid to ask the airport staff, because nine times out of ten, they will tell you which gate you're going to be at, so you can get yourself there, get yourself settled with a seat and relax a bit. So we'll wander down to the end now, right at the end, 56. Loads of seats down there, whereas down this end is uh, Bedlam. So, yeah, don't be afraid to ask. They will always normally tell you. So we're just uh, chilling at the gate, it has changed to Tenerife, so she was spot on and we've got nice seats right at the front. So we'll definitely get our bags on. Uh, we have paid for priority boarding, so uh, we can get our two suitcases on. Uh, we do get priority boarding as well. You can opt out of that, but you means you've got to check your bag in, uh, which is a bit of a, a, bit of a nightmare. Uh, but yeah, looking forward to getting to Tenerife now, smelling that Tenerife there, get getting warm. the Tenerife heat. I know, good to see the little boy. Yeah, we're going to pick up the dog straight away, then the cat is still a little bit unwell, so whether we'll pick him up tomorrow or not, we're not sure. We might pay for him to stay a bit longer where he is. Because really, as he's penned in, he can't go out, so yeah. it's safer for him than to be at ours. And he's getting his treatments and stuff, so we'll see about that, but we're getting the dog back. Uh, we might go out for a little dinner somewhere, or pick up a takeaway or something as well, but... Yeah, looking forward to getting back now, I think. So, don't forget, if you are travelling with Ryanair, you do still need a mask at the moment. May 2022, you do still need a mask, and everyone is scrambling for one now. Do remember to bring one with you. Ryanair, I think EasyJet is still the same. You've still got to wear a mask, so don't forget. Well, we're leaving the grey and the wet and we should be uh, in the sunny Tenerife sunshine in about four hours or so, hopefully. It's pretty grey out here, isn't it? It's pretty grim. <laughs> on today's flight. Flight time will be approximately 4 hours and 15 minutes. However, prior to departure, maybe get everyone's complete attention for just a few moments. I will you point out some of the safety features on board this Boeing 737-800 safe type aircraft. Thank you. May we have your complete attention as we demonstrate the safety features of this aircraft. These features may differ from aircraft that you have flown on before. And at the rear of the cabin, all exits are also shown on the safety card. The nearest exit may be behind you.
Okay, so through security, all done, nice and quick and easy. We did show our TIEs, our resident cards, so they didn't stamp our passports uh, because we are residents. We've got no bags to wait for, which is nice. That's pretty quick and painless though, wasn't it? Nice and easy. Ah, well, I don't know what's going on with the weather. We left it like this and we're back with it like this, but it does have that nice Tenerife smell and it is nice and warm. It is very comfortable. Now, even though, even though we got bust there, it was not bad at all. Quite quick coming through. They were very on it. It is quite quiet at the airport tonight, which is nice. Flight was quite painless. Merely it was full. It was full. Yeah, but I'm fine here. It wasn't too bad, yeah. Yeah, it was all right. I didn't really have any problems. We were a bit late taking off from Manchester. Uh, so now we're going to head straight to the car, which I've got waiting for me. And then we're going to go and grab the dog straight away. So we're on a bit of a mission. Okay, so we are now back in the apartment. We've got the, we met up with the dog, we've got the dog. Um, everything fine with the apartment, sit has been in, so it's been absolutely fine, spotless in here. Um, we are gonna now head and do a live stream, I think. We're gonna go to Tandori Hut. We thought, why not jump on a live? It is Thursday, which is our normal day, so we're gonna jump on. I will leave the link to that in the description. Uh, the flight overall was, it was okay. We paid a lot of money for that flight. The plane was very old. Uh, it was a little bit battered, yeah. Uh, no one wore masks, so I'm not quite sure what the rules are. I was told that you would still have to have masks on. Well, they said you weren't getting on the plane without a mask, but then no one... Yeah, then on the plane, no one enforced it. So I think that'll be scrapped soon anyway. Uh, no one wore them all flight. And coming through the airport was a doddle. I've seen a picture on the fan group of people waiting so ages to go through, but the airport when we got there was empty. There was only two planes on the tarmac. So a bit strange with that one, but uh, we're gonna go off and enjoy our dinner and we'll be uh, catching up with you very shortly. Okay, so it is actually a few days later um, that I'm editing this vlog and I realized we didn't actually finish it off. We went and did our live stream in Tandoori Hut. Food was amazing in there as always. We've missed our curries. Love the American food, but you do miss your, uh, your home comforts. And that is one of ours, the curry there. Overall, the flight was not bad at all. Manchester was just bedlam. Um, seems to still be quite busy. Um, everything in there was at least a half an hour queue. Although security was fast once you were through, there was nowhere really to sit and it was waiting around for car. Anything you were gonna do, anything you were gonna buy was at least a half an hour wait. Yeah, so still recommend getting to the airport nice and early if you can. Ryanair flight was, was what it was. It did what it said on the tin. Plane was a bit tatty and it was dirty when we got on it as well. And it was the first flight of the day, so. Um, that was a bit disappointing, but other than that, you get what you get with uh, Ryanair and they got us here perfectly fine. The weather has thankfully improved the last few days as well, which is good. It's back to being sunny again. Uh, let me know your thoughts on our little travel day. Uh, the animals are all back fine now as well. Uh, drop in the comments as well if you'd like to see a little bit of a Florida Q&A maybe or something like that from our recent trip. Let me know about that as well. If you are new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe. There is loads of Tenerife content. There's excursions, there's live streams, there's restaurants, all of that is on the channel. So do check out the other videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hit the thumbs up and uh, stride on. Get yourself booked over. Get yourself on one of them flights and come and enjoy some sunshine. Bye guys, stride on.